Okay. Welcome to your practice. Um, we'll do some uh, movements. Uh, have a nice pace going so that the mind and the breath can coordinate and and see where see where it puts us. The mind can really uh, create a lot of mayhem, especially when there's other mind stuff going on, stuff that we've created, structures. And so when we teach the mind to pay attention to something more natural, like the body or the breath, as opposed to our stories that we collectively participate in, um, it's very regulating for our nervous system. It's good for our health, good for our well-being. So for our 75 minutes here, whatever it's going to be, we are focusing on training the mind to say, hey, sometimes we know we know we love ourselves. <laughs> we know we love our stories and putting those stories into practice. But sometimes they just go so fast, you know, and they get so chaotic and calamitous that we have to train the mind. Don't forget about the natural way and build right in your breathing your movement, your body sensations are built right in. Um, sometimes you practice out in nature, it can be very nice too, but it's getting a little cold here, but guess what? Nature is right here with you. So that's what we do. We train our mind, start to tap into these slower, more natural rhythms, more original rhythms. So you start to just breathe in and out through the nose. And you think about savoring and appreciating just the feeling of a simple breath. You probably all have a morning routine of some sort. Maybe it's a coffee or a tea or a, a newspaper. I don't know what it may be, but there's some sort of morning routine and it feels good. It has a feeling to that morning routine. You almost, we almost look forward to it. Well, the same thing with your yoga practice and your breathing. You take a deep breath. And maybe it's only one breath at a time. Your mind appreciates the feeling. And maybe you can get that one breath to be two breaths. So let's try it. Here we go. Maybe your mind as the participant, my mind as a host was like, oh my gosh, I, it's been too long. That was too long of a breath. We're going to start thinking. But really, that's not how it works, right? You really let your mind just say, oh, I'm going to focus for just two breaths on the feeling of breathing. It can happen with the postures too, as we'll learn today, practice today. Sometimes we like to do the practice because we think there's some benefit. That's all mental benefit. We're this much stronger, this much more flexible. It's all mental chatter to just feel the sensation of the pose. It feels good to engage the body. This time, three breaths. Feel and enjoy. Three full, continuous breaths. Here we go. Enjoy the feeling. In and out through the nose. Now you might even have some after effects. If you could put three breaths together in a row, you might get a little bit of an after glow. Let's take up our left hand, stretch it up high to the sky, spread those fingers and reach it back behind you. Open the chest, turn and look away from that arm. Okay, come back down. Turn and reach out with that right hand, spread the fingers, reach it up and back, twisting, and then look away from that hand. Breathe and enjoy the sensation the feeling of the pose and come back both hands up like this bright palms stretch up extend out through the elbow up open take a deep breath turn your palms up exhale bring the hands down in front fingertips touch the floor just hang the head and rock it to one side enjoy the feeling other side sometimes we don't even know how to do it we just need 
Sometimes we just try to make sensation happen. And often you'll see people practice like this. They make a grimace. Like they're trying to intensify the stretch. It's like, I want to experience my pain threshold. Then and only then have I earned something from this pose. Inhale, come back up. It's the opposite. It's the opposite of that. Feel, sense, of course, but feel something enjoyable. Interlock your fingers, turn them out. Push forward, elbows extended. Push forward, take a deep breath in. As you lift up, whatever feels good, don't exceed the pain threshold. Don't even enter the pain threshold. Let it be an enjoyable experience. Pull the belly muscles in on the exhale. Hold the breath a moment. You're gonna take your right hand down to the floor. You're gonna turn your left hand. You're gonna reach it over. Stretching long, keep pinning the left hip down into the earth. Good, inhale back up. Turn, flip open, take a deep breath. Pull the belly muscles in. Bring the left hand down. Turn and reach out with the right arm. We even have sayings that are so contradictory to yoga. We say, what was it? No pain, no gain. I don't know who made up that phrase, but they've, they've contributed to the problem, I think. Hang your head forward. Rock your shoulders side to side. No pain, no gain. What happened to just enjoy the feeling? <laughs> Can you imagine if we built our, our high school... Uh, sports culture around enjoy the feeling <laughs> instead of no pain, no gain. Oh my goodness. Okay, sit back up. Remove the prop if you're sitting on one. Put your feet out in front of you. Place your feet flat on the floor. Put your hands down behind you. Do a reverse bridge. Push your hips up. Stretch through the front of the arm. Breathe. Then we have another phrase, sweat equity, sweat equity, right? Like you have to really work to earn something and create value. Open the knees, put the feet together, squeeze the feet together, hold your ankles and just gently pull, bringing your spine upright. Take a deep breath here. Let's drop the head to one side. Sweat equity, no pain, no gain. Let's roll our head all the way to the other side. Some of these phrases, they kind of create this idea that if you're, if it's enjoyable, there's no value or, 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 you know, it needs to be like, you know, it costs something. There's no just innate enjoyment of it. Inhale, look up, pull back on the shins as you look straight into the sky. Good. Cross the ankles, rock forward. And step back to tabletop pose. It's an interesting phenomenon. Even if we think about like our enjoyable experiences, usually, they're usually consumables. They're consumables. They're things that we, you know, like, oh, we like, oh, I do my workout, I can treat myself. That's another phrase we like to say. Open the throat, open the chest, take a deep breath here. Like for some reason, this whatever this is, this yoga practice itself isn't enough of a treat that we have to do hard work so we can get the treat later. Very Pavlovian, if you think about it. We're sort of Pavlovian characters to our own human culture. Tap your toes, push back downward facing dog. And we can create this little mental shift where it's like, hey, this moment, this experience that you're doing, it's good for you on all levels. There's work involved and there's enjoyment at the same time. Who would have thought that that's like a way you could exist? Roll over your toes, come down onto your shins. Inhale, lift the chin, open the chest, take a deep breath in. Just go back and forth between the two shapes. Tuck your toes, push back, up and back, downward facing dog. Let the head hang. Inhale, roll over the tippy toes, come down onto the knees and shin. Inhale, open the chest. This is too much for you, just do regular cat cow right now. Again, tuck the toes, lift up, downward facing dog, or roll over the toes a little more challenging. 
Three more of these. Tabletop, open. Exhale, tuck, down we go. The rhythm involved, moving and breathing in tandem. Tuck the toes or point the toes, come forward, open the chest. Last one, downward dog. Good. Walk the hands back until you're in a forward fold. You can hold your elbows and just hang here a moment. Deep breath. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up high. Grab one wrist, doesn't matter which, just pull over to the side. <laughs> Inhale, come up, reach over the other direction. Making this feeling, making this posture, this class about enjoying the experience, enjoying the feeling itself. Open the hands out in a V shape. Stand out, right palms, just opening across the chest, the side ribs, taking a deep breath in. Good, pull the hands down into an A shape, A shape, extending through the elbows, pull back. I've met people in my life, they say, oh, it's fun if I win. That means only half the people who play can have fun. It's only half the people are winning, other half's losing. The fun is in making other people lose is what you're really saying. What kind of culture is this? Inhale, reach up high to the sky. Only half the people can be happy with the outcome. What about just enjoying the feeling, enjoying the moment, that there's not some end in sight, but that this moment right here, experiencing our life, has all the joy it needs. Bend your knees, sit down deep into chair pose, pull your belly muscles back. Keep going, let the heels hover. Feel the muscles and knee joints engaging, working together. You can put your hands down in front, walk them forward. Tabletop with your knees hovering, keeping the core engaged. Breathe. And now you start to think, he was just BSing us. This is just hard work, and I better get something, I better get a treat later for this. <laughs> We're doing this pose. Good. Push back, downward facing dog. Exhale. And any kind of treat you want later. Walk your hands back. <laughs> Hold your elbows, hang your spine. Inhale, come all the way up. But there is some enjoyment here in just the flowing, breathing feeling. Hands to your heart. Stretch the arms up, grab one wrist. Let's go to the side again. Stretch the arms up, go to the other side. Inhale, arms up, right palms, turn the arms out in a V shape, extending energy out, broadening. Enjoy, lift up through the leg bones, lift up through the knee joints. Pull the arms down by your sides, pull back on the arms in an A shape, squeezing the shoulder blades and back muscles. Breathe. Go ahead, swoop the arms forward, bend your knees, chair posture. Inhaling forward and up, nice tempo, a rhythmic breath-like dance happening here. Keep sinking down, pull your belly muscles in, pull your belly muscles in. You let those knees hover, sorry, the heels hover. Good, place your hands down on the mat, walk them forward. Come over to a floating tabletop, knees hover, breathe. Good, knees down on the floor. Swing the left leg straight back, lift it up high to the sky. And you're gonna look over the opposite shoulder so you can see your foot, so your foot can wave to you, hello. And then exhale, pull that knee under your body, keep the leg lifted. Inhale, send the leg back and open, look over the other shoulder, hello. And pull it in. One more time, send it back, look back, pull it in, 
and come back to your neutral shape. Inhale, extend the right leg back, lift it up, and look back so you can wave at yourself with your toes. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, send it back. Exhale in. Inhale back. Exhale in. Back to neutral. Good. Walk the knees back a little bit. You're going to bend your elbows as slow as you can. Try to keep those elbows squeezing in against your body as you come all the way down to your mat. Draw the shoulder blades up and back. Inhale, cobra. Breathe here. Feel the pose. Feel the body aligning. Hands available. You're going to float your hands. Reach up. Stretch your arms out in the V shape like we worked on earlier. If you can lift your legs up at the same time as keeping your arms up, go right ahead. Breathe here. Feel the experience. Feel the sensation happening in the moment. Don't just struggle to endure, right? That's another little way we've been conditioned. Endure. You can make it. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Send the arms back behind you, a diagonal. It's the same shape we were doing when we were standing. Good, and rest the moments. Uh, turn your head to one side if you'd like. So you're changing your state of mind. You're changing the way you're looking at something. You're doing the same pose. You're holding it just as long. But you're changing your mentality. Inhale, push up all the way back, downward facing dog. What is possible? We change our mentality around the way we looked at the things that were happening. Walk the feet a little forward, nice and slow. Kind of pull that leg up into the hip joint. Nice and slow, you walk it forward. Plant the feet, walk the hands back, son. Forward bend. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Go ahead, step your left foot forward, step your right foot back. Reach down, touch the floor, touch the blocks, and then inhale, come all the way up, warrior one. Breathe here. And appreciate the sensation. Open your mind to the natural form of your body. Feel it in space, all the details existing here, pulsing in the breath, creating a quality of mind based on your natural rhythms instead of events that we've made up as a culture. Go ahead, straighten your front leg, straighten your front leg. You're going to pull the hands back behind you, or you can have them out to the side, or if you want to, you can actually bow forward and let the arms hang. Good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your shin, whatever position you're in, grab your shin, hold it, hold it right where you've got it, and but try to lift your spine so you feel your core engaged, almost like you're trying to pull your body out of the pose, but your arms are holding you in the pose. And just breathe. Feel how it kind of tones the muscles of the core. I actually get a little more stability in my leg when I do this. Deep breathing. And just thinking about lifting, which engages a new set of muscles, but you're not actually moving physically in space. All right, now come all the way up. Let's send our arms high up into the sky. Keep those legs straight still. One more deep breath here, and then bend the front knee. And bend the back knee, mountain both at the front of your yoga mat. Deep breath, enjoy being here. Feel the warmth circulating through your body. Feels good to be inside of a body. Good. 
be aware of a body. All right, let's step the other leg back, plant the feet. You're gonna to touch the floor near the front foot or the blocks, inhale, swoop them up, warrior one. Same pose, we're just gonna hang here, enjoy our existence. <laughs> it takes effort. The mind is like, no, no, we have social problems, we have mental problems. We have cultural problems. We will find problems for you to think about. And you're just like, listen, mind, trust me. You're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. If you just for like an hour, you focus on moving and breathing. You're actually going to feel better than fine. Better than okay. And so it takes discipline. I can't just tell jokes and entertain you the whole time. You have to discipline yourself a little bit. Discipline yourself to enjoy your experience. Good, straighten the front leg and keep the arms out. You can put the arms out wide, you can put the hands on your hips, whatever kind of suits you. Hinge and bow. Hinge and bow. See where you land. Don't strain. Whatever the opposite of no pain, no gain. <laughs> okay. Your low back should not be like, oh, I'm happy doing this pose. Grab your shin somewhere and hold on. Hold on. Stay in that shape, but start to pull up with your body, your torso. So you feel engagement happen in your spine and in your core, your belly. Breathe here. Inhale, come all the way up. Let's keep the legs straight, lift the arms up. It's a wild thing, actually. Our mind is such a labyrinth, a maze of confusion sometimes, where we start to tell ourselves, bend your front knee. That's not what you tell yourself. I told you that. Your mind tells you other things. <laughs> bend your back knee, back to mountain pose. Mind starts to tell us, I can only be happy if. I can only be happy if. If this happens, then I'll be happy. We have all sorts of things we tell ourselves. Personal, cultural, relational. Mountain pose here, please. Take a deep breath. And all we're saying is, hey, reconsider. Bend your knees. Reconsider that your happiness is already available to you. That you can just exist happy. Bend your knees. Lift the heels up. Place your hands on the blocks or on the floor. You're going to step back to plank pose. And here you go again. You get a chance to say, no, Richard, I cannot be happy doing plank pose. I have to suffer and endure until you tell us to come down. I'm not going to tell you when. You have to decide for yourself. When is it enough? When is the enjoyment of being in plank pose no longer? When will there be a nice enjoyment of laying? <laughs> I will very much enjoy laying my belly on this mat. I'm not there yet. I'm still actually enjoying my plank pose. Okay, I've had enough. Knees first, and I'm going to lower down. Whenever you're ready, come down to the earth. And then you get enjoyment on both levels. In the pose and after the pose. Point your toes, inhale, curl up. Cobra posture. Breathe and enjoy. Try to draw those shoulder blades in and down your spine. It feels nice on my shoulders. If you can, you're going to bend your left knee and go ahead and grab it. Gently pull the, I'm sorry, not grab the knee, grab the foot. Gently pull the foot down. Just give a little stretch there. As you pull, gently actually push the press the, the left knee down as well. So that as you're kind of stretching, you're also counter stretching, you're sort of toning and stabilizing. People love the no pain, no gain mantra for this one. It's backwards, abandon it, it will get you nowhere. Other leg. Inhale. 
at least they'll get you nowhere in your yoga. They'll get you nowhere in this idea that your mind can be transcended. You do not have to suffer this mental gymnastics of habits and problem making all the time. It's good some of the time. It does lead to progress in other ways. But we also need to balance it with just some peace of mind. Peace of mind comes in training the mind to look at natural order, not mental disciplines, mental architectures. Your breath, your body sensations, they are natural orders. Push up and back to downward dog. Kind of broaden your shoulders so your neck can drop at the knees. And then walk one inch at a time. Keep your knees straight so you're kind of sucking your leg bone up into your hip. You got like stick stick legs, and you're walking forward nice and slow. Once the feet are flat, you can walk the hands back. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Hold the left hand to the head and gently bring the head to the left. Opening the neck, let's stretch out with the right hand and right arm. Enjoy. It's so easy for the mind to forget and just get on autopilot. We just treat nature like it's gonna, gonna be there. I don't need to appreciate it. Let's change sides. Which, oh yeah, the body will be there. It's there every day. All of a sudden, we wake up one day and it's not what we remembered. <laughs> But if you spend time each day being with your breath, being with your body, you build a mental map, much healthier in my opinion. Back to center. Good. Take a big old step forward with your right, left foot. Take a big old step back with your right foot. Warrior two pose, stretch out. Open across your chest, big wings in your arms, el elbows extending. Push down through your feet and stretch out through the legs. I'm gonna feel a whole body warrior too. Let it enliven your posture. Let it be full body. Lift your chest, lift your gaze a little bit, a little above your own eye level today. Bolstering this idea that it feels good to bring our own sort of spirit, our own energy into our postures, even when we're having to hold, we're not enduring, we're not struggling to be here. We're appreciating the body's mechanics. Bend a little deeper, see if you can stretch out through those legs. Don't move the feet, just push out through the knee and the back foot. Good, the straight in the front leg and put the hand down on the shin somewhere, that front hand on the shin, you're gonna hold onto the shin. Okay, you're gonna hold on the shin, you're gonna grab on the shin, you're gonna set, do the same thing we did earlier, but you're gonna try to pull your body up. But your hand and your shin keep you where you are. Just engages that underside muscles there, sort of side core, and let's breathe into that. That's triangle pose today. there. Who's getting bored? Who's saying, no, I'd like my mental stories back on, please. Train your yoga practice. Inhale, come all the way up. Let's keep our 
Leg straight, turn the torso, just so you're twisting out your hips a little bit. Bring the arms up, reaching up long and tall. Listen carefully, you're gonna bend your front knee, which is your left, but put your right hand down on the floor or on a prop. That's fine too. Get a nice twisted lunge or twisted side angle here. Open up. Good. Square your legs. You're going to reach forward with your hands about a foot and a half in front of your front foot and lift your back leg high into the sky. Stretch your chin forward as best you can so you're on your fingertips, so you're on the blocks. Drop that leg down somewhat behind the front and roll yourself up and step to mountain. Let's just breathe here a moment. Hmm. Feels good to move and breathe, circulate our energy. All right, go ahead and take a big old stance on the second side. That's the left foot back now. Warrior two, we're going to be here a moment. Like, why do I have to qualify that? I have to get you ready to like endure? No. Enjoy, not endure. Open across the chest, spread out through the elbow joints, finger joints, long lines and breathe. Do not tire. Learn to cultivate a, a yoga practice that is rejuvenative. It's healthy, but it challenges our beliefs about hard work, sweat equity, that we are not doing something valuable for our body. If the body naturally wants to go a little deeper, trusting in the natural order. Straighten the legs, and let's hinge, holding with the right hand, the right shin somewhere. And we're gonna work on pulling up. Instead of pushing down with that arm, the tones the underside, triangle pose. Find the enjoyment of the sensation. Keep breathing. Inhale all the way up. Let's bring the arms up overhead. You're going to turn your body. Just your torso, so the hips rotate a little bit. Breathe here. As you bend your front knee, you're going to take your left hand, so you bend the front knee, it's your right knee. Hold the block or hold the floor. Twisting lunge. Breathe here. Good. Square yourself. Square yourself. Lift the back. Square yourself. You're going to lift up. Hands about a foot and a half in front of the front foot. Lift the back leg. Lift the chin and spine. Breathe here. It's not that there isn't hard work. And we've all experienced those benefit and the joy that comes from the reward of success of hard work. I'm not saying that we're not even doing hard work now. It's just the way we go about it. It's the mentality. 
Good. Drop that back foot down a little bit nice and easy. Roll on up to standing and come back to mountain pose. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, flat back. Bend your knees, release your spine. Inhale, flat back. Step one leg back and the other. Let's do that plank pose exercise again. What's your plank pose that you can do that you enjoy? Truly actually enjoy the effort. You're not looking for some result in the future. And come knees down when you're ready and sit back. Child pose, palms face up in this one. Breathing in the back body. Concentrate on a few joyful breaths into the back, low ribs. Come on up the tabletop. You're going to stretch your left arm high into the sky. You're going to swoop and take that arm underneath the opposite arm. Thread the needle. Roll onto that outer left shoulder. Back to neutral. Inhale. Stretch the right arm up and thread it on through, swoop it onto the outer right shoulder. Inhale back up. Tuck the toes, hover your knees like we did earlier, warm up the core again. Good, knees down. Kickstand your right foot out, step your left leg back. You're gonna twist open to your side plank. You can stack the feet if you want or keep the knee down, whatever works for you. Let's take that arm overhead like you're reaching it to the front of your front of the room. See the long line on that left finger all the way to the left toe. Good. Swing that left leg back. You get a big crescent shape across that front of the left hip. Deep breathing. Good. Let's rotate it back to neutral. Tuck the toes, lift up, little floating knees. Build that core strength again. Knees down, kickstand the left foot out, send the right toes back, open up into your side plank. Take that top arm out overhead so it's a long line from your right finger to your right toes. Breathe, savor as you swing or slowly arc the right toes back behind you, opening the front of the right hip. Back to tabletop. Walk your hands back and up your thighs. You're going to support your low back with both hands so the fingers point down. 
push the hips down a little bit forward as you open the chest and lift your chin. Breathe here. Enjoy the feeling. Keep opening into the shape. You lose your mind for a moment. You lose your stories. What's next? We're we doing this right. When's dinner? I gotta give myself a treat afterwards. Is this practice hard enough? You lose yourself and just let the pose grow. Let your body experience something outside of your mind. Bodies dealing with our mind stories all day long. Fingertips down the earth, push back into a squat pose. Knees out, heels slightly up. You can bring your hands to prayer. Bodies receiving cortisol, stress hormone into our brains, nervousness, anxiousness. As the stories we tell us excite, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes scare all up to stand and reach up tall sometimes our stories delight us certainly it definitely exists open up big and broad across the chest good now pull the arms down and back really drawing those shoulder blades step forward with your left foot warrior one again Extending up through your elbows, really pressing the heart forward, feeling the arch crescendo of the chest into the pose. Good. Pull the belly muscles back, straighten the legs. Let's put our palms together, pulling the belly muscles back, opening up the back body. Slowly lift the arms up. Tuck the chin down. Tuck the chin down, make the back of your neck nice and long. Bend your knees, step to chair, put at the front of your mat, chin still tucked. Pull the arms back, really open the shoulder here with that neck, back of the neck, nice and long. And then inhale, come up mountain pose. Keep breathing, circulating the energy. Step back to the back of your mat with the same sequence. You know, open your chest, open your arms, pulling back at the shoulder. Pulling down and back at an A-shaped diagonal, really toning the shoulder blades. Evenly listening, no exceeding our effort level. The yogic mind is a very, very strong mind. It allows the body to be at its most strong, its strongest. It does not need the effort of egoic will to hold the pose. Step forward into warrior one. Keep pulling back with the arms as you sort of arch the heart and chest and throat into the pose. A little back bending version of warrior one. Breathing here. Beautiful shape, y'all. Inhale, straighten the legs, bring the hands forward. You're going to drop the chin and pull your belly muscles back. This is it's very, almost completely counter what we were just doing in every sort of major muscle group. 
As you're pulling the belly back, the head is hanging, so you get a nice long length in the back of your neck. You lift those arms up as high as they'll go freely. Opening up the shoulder joint this way, holding the pose, savoring it, letting the body unwhirl, unwind from those mental stressors we send through it. Keep breathing. And step into chair pose. Keep breathing. Arms back, chin down. It's amazing. You just think about the chair itself. No body would sit in the chair for the amount that our, our culture says is appropriate. The mind thinks it's okay. Come back up, mountain pose. Beautiful. Breathe. Feel how the body has balanced itself when the mind gets out of the way. Now this can be a challenge for some of you. We're going to try some balancing poses. This is like, you know, level 700 here. I think that our balancing can happen outside of our mind. Train it. So much story and narrative comes up around our balance and our sense of balance. So be willing to use the wall, but be willing to not use the wall. <laughs> Find the harmony that isn't struggle, that isn't giving up. It's the balance of just noticing where your natural order is, your breath and your body. So shifting to our right, Bring up your left leg. You're just going to hold the knee with empty hand. Hold the knee with your musculature. We're going to start here. Breathing. Good. Now, if you can, you're going to take one hand or no hands. Place it against the thigh or the inner leg. Tree pose. Same leg. Breathing. Your version of the pose. It's okay to use the wall. To get something from the pose. That's a mental habit. Cuffing it out. Be honest. Let enter that mind state of just listening to the breath and body. Open the wide knee, the left knee back a little bit without opening the hips if you can. All right, here's going to get challenging. And hopefully, you got a block nearby. If you're using the wall, you can kind of slide your hand down the wall or something. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to go down to the block or the floor and send your uh, left leg up and back into a half moon sort of shape. Breathing. And inhale, come back up, bring that knee up in front again, last bit of the pose, and release down. Okay, so I think it's best if the wall's on the, maybe the left side of your body. You can do a number of different ways. Your first thing, you're going to shift into your left foot, you're going to bring up your right knee and just hold the shape. So much training for the mind and balancing poses. So much Inner dialogue can arise for us. Feelings of inadequacy, determination. Don't take those worldly traits and impose them upon your yoga practice. Cultivate something new, something profound, where it just doesn't have to matter. With without a hand, coming to a tree variation with the same flag up, same leg down. Keep breathing. There's a focus, but it's not relentless. It's, there's a sense of ease to it.
Here's our special opportunity. The left hand's gonna look for the floor or the low part of a wall or a ledge. And then it's slowly, slowly swing the right leg back into a half moon variation. Bringing back up if you can. Pull that knee forward in front and release it. Good. Mm. Turn the palms to face this with the front of the room. Open the flow. This time you could put the wall in front of you or your chair leg in front of you. You'll bring up with one ankle or both hands, hold the ankle with one or both hands, the other hand holds the uh, balance wall if you need it. You're lifting the ankle to the height of the knee if you can. Or maybe the knee can drop lower than the ankle. Breathe. Enjoy the feeling of your breath. Good. Release. Mindfully, slowly transition. Stay in that mental state of open clarity. Tuned into the natural order of your rhythms. And enjoy the feeling. And then you can go below the ankle. Don't force it. Just see if it's available. You're welcome to keep going, seeing what's available beyond what my body does, what I suggest. And just don't strive after any poses. Just seeing what poses are there. And release. Excellent. Come back into that, especially before we go down. Let's do a wide legged stance, one more round of standing poses, wide legged stance. Let's push the hips a little forward. Push the hips a little back. Let's make a circle now. Circle the other way. Open the arms out. Exhale, reach down the leg. You're going to slide the hands down the outer leg, any amount. And hold on and lift your body so it doesn't go anywhere because you're holding on, engaging the core in a little bit different way. Breathe here. You should not be straining your low back. You should feel full body engagement. Inhale back up. Keep the shape the front. Let's back to the front of the mat. Good. Now we're ready for squat pose. In our kneeling practice, knees touch, feet separate, sit down between the heels, or on a prop in between them. Rest your hands in your lap with your palms facing up. Just to listen to your spine, listen to your posture, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. 
like the beginning of our practice, enjoy one breath. And enjoy two breaths. If you can try it three breaths, who knows where you may go? You can leave the mind stories behind. Enjoy three breaths. The head become heavy, shoulders heavy. Roll, roll forward. Move in your props. Walk to the sides. Cross your ankles and sit back. Move forward. You're going to slowly hold underneath your knees. Pull with your arms and sit back so you're rounding your back, belly muscles moving in towards the spine, chin is tucked. You're going to slip in, let the feet hover at some point. There's a little bit of core work here, not just your arms, feeling and breathing. Smooth fluidity in the spine, in the ground. Let's get a little lower so you can get a little lower without losing control. A little lower. Now the gaze is below the knees. And then bring the spine all the way to the earth. You can press your feet flat into the floor. Press down through your arms so your palms are flat on the mat next to your hips. Arms are straight. You're going to push down with your arms, down with your feet. Lift up through your hips, bridge pose. Breathe here, savor your breath. Back down. And your knees, feet flat on the floor. Push down for your arms, down for your feet. Inhale, lift up. Over down. Breathing, long breaths right now. Long, slow breaths. Last one, bridge pose. Push up. Lower down. Bring one knee into the body. Hold it with the hands. Sweet. 
switch and bring the other knee into the body. That foot back on the floor. You're going to lift your hips up slightly and swing them over to your left. You swing your hips over to your left. Lift up your left knee and stack it over the right knee as you bring the knees over to the right. Twisting. Release your left shoulder down and away from the twist. Roll back up. Don't forget to center your hips and then swing them over a little bit in the other direction as you stack the second knee on top and then drop the knees to the second side. Release the shoulder, the right shoulder away from the twist. back up, center your hips, roll the upper body, try to gaze through the knees, hold the pose here, breathe. Lower back down slowly, using a prop or two, place them under your hips. and then float the legs up in the air above the hips. Anchor down through your shoulders and skull. And breathe deeply, long, slow breath. Be in the yoga, be beyond the mental stories. Whether they be personal, relational, societal, cultural, be beyond natural order, breathing, feeling the sensation in the body. Feet down, the hips down, off the props. It's the soles of the feet together, let the knees fall open. Rest them with the arms by your sides. You can place the hands behind the head.
culture, we have this idea of this simple life and but somehow an escapist or a neglect, like, uh, you know, Disney taught us the bare necessities <laughs> or Puna Matata. Maybe it's just an aspect of ourselves. And that's what we've been neglecting. The protagonist of those stories, those characters taught a life lesson. It wasn't a permanent state. It's just a place you go to to get perspective. We're not abandoning our mental stories of the world. Just gaining space so that we can have a better perspective. Clarity. Start to slide the legs out. Pick up as much space as you need. Rest your body. Rest your breath. And rest your mind. You just sort of let them alone for a little while.
Stretch your body. Take a comfortable seat. Namaste.